Hey guys, this is JDX7, so today I'll be showing you how to run Windows 3.1 with high color playing MP3s, believe it or not, in DOSBox. So I want you to install the latest version of DOSBox first, then open up the DOSBox directory on your um, program files um, folder. Create a folder called Windows, create a folder called 3.1, create a folder called Drivers, and create a folder called Progs. And then I want you to get the Windows 3.1 uh, floppy images extract them to that folder called 3.1 and I want you to get um, these two executables here, one's the 32-bit add-on API for Windows 3.1, the other one is WinPlay 3 extract them to programs I want you to get um, Sound Blaster 16 and S3 VGA drivers and extract them to the drivers folder and then I want you to open up DOSBox I want you to mount a C drive, so mount C colon Open, um, open quotation marks, windows, close quotation marks. Then I'll, <coughs> I spelt it wrong. Now I want you to mount D, open quotation marks, 3.1, close quotation marks. Go to D drive, type setup. Now hit enter, hit enter for express setup. You really don't need to do much. I'll come back after this finishes since I'm short on time. Okay, so the setup is pretty straightforward. Just type your name in, hit continue to everything. When it gets up to the um, printer, select no printer, which is just the straightforward install button. And I'll just do all this, skip the tutorial, and return to MS DOS. Now I want you to exit. And I want you to open up the DOSBox options, scroll all the way to the bottom, and type in mount C colon open quotations, Windows close quotations. Now I want you to go to that Windows directory, edit the auto execute dot bat, and I'm going to put it side by side with the DOSBox config, and I want you to copy all of these here into there. And then I want you to put after that win.com. Now save that. And what this does is it basically tells DOSBox to mount the drives and open up into it automatically. So go ahead and open up DOSBox again. And it opens up Windows 3.1. Now we're not finished. It may run, but it's not good. Uh, I want you to mount D this time. And I want you to open, qu open quotation marks, drivers, close with close quotation marks go to D drive I'll set up the sound blaster driver first so go install and it will just run it can only be run from DOS mode this installer so we'll just let it do this and this takes a long this takes a fair while now DOSBox does emulate its own own Sound Blaster 16, but Windows 3.1 can't utilize that because it needs a driver. Just do full install. It, you don't run out of space unless your hard drive is very small. Yeah, leave all that the same. Hit enter. Man, we're just checking everything. Okay, now for. Ah. Uh, yeah. Just leave everything. Um, while this is happening, I'm going to pause. Okay, so the, um, the um, setup completed successfully. Now it'll tell you to reboot it, but we're going to run Windows again. And, of course, because we haven't set up the options, it'll start repeating itself. So it won't sound right. I know this happens, trust me, because we haven't set up the options in DOSBox yet. Now, I want you to go to Windows Setup, I want you to go to Options, Change System Settings, hit the VGA, scroll all the way down to the bottom, Other Display. I want you to type D Drive in, and I want you to scroll down until, well, select whichever one you want, but I'm going to go 800 by 600, 64,000 um, colors, and small font. Just hit OK, it'll install it, it'll ask for that, just hit Cancel that, and then it will revert back to its default. Just hit change system settings again and it should already be there. Scroll up a bit. It's right there. Just hit current to everything and restart Windows. Now, 
you might have to um, exit DOSBox to do this because it fucked itself up and probably should have installed the VGA drivers first but anyway now it's working now exit DOSBox because it's gonna um, we're gonna go into the options again I want you to scroll down to S Blaster and I want you to change IRQ from 7 to 5 that's the reason why it's repeating and save that now I want you to open up DOSBox again we're going to install the, the um, program so now the sound should work properly so you want to exit again um, mount D and whoops stuff that up and we want to go back into Windows go to file manager go to D drive copy these two programs here to C drive hang on I gotta check if C is in C no it's not copy these two to C drive yes we want to copy them now you can open up this one first now I'll just basically ex extract a whole bunch of things to your um, drive now you want you to F5 so it refreshes and I want you to go up find setup where is it? I went past it there it is run this and install it this is just basically the 32-bit, yeah that'll show up the 32-bit add-on for Windows 3.1 it doesn't run everything but it runs enough and it will also install FreeCell it's just a compatibility layer and it will restart Windows for you I don't know whether you can hear this dark to the Da going. It won't run MP3s yet, that's why we've got to have the other program, which is this one here. Yes. Now this all it shouldn't take too long to install. It's WinPlay 3, it's the last version that should work. The 16-bit version. So you really don't need the 32-bit enhancement for it. And just hit next to everything, because that's what you do. If not, you're not supposed to. It'll create a program group for you. finish. Now you should just be able to op um, open up WinPlay and I find a mp3 file. I've got one. I put one in my programs thing for an example. Now this is um, Rhiannon by Fleetwood Mac. Brilliant song. It's beside the point. It works in stereo at the highest quality depending on what how many cycles you've got in DOSBox and to show you the proper colour is working I've got another, I've got a program, I've got a picture um, this is a very high resolution picture but as you can see you can set this as your desktop background, I'll show you how to do that go to C, go, win yeah, it's already in Windows, good, now just copy this over uh, where is it, Nature, over to C Drive yes, next it, go to Control Panel go to Desktop wallpaper, scroll down until you find your um, the name of your wallpaper you want to center it if it's a big resolution and there we go so this is how to install Windows 3.1 properly and get it to run really well with sound and everything so I hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you later